Get ready to dive into the extraordinary life of a visionary whose relentless pursuit of innovation reshaped the world as we know it. In this captivating journey, we'll uncover the fascinating life of Steve Jobs, a man whose unwavering passion, unyielding determination, and groundbreaking ideas propelled him from humble beginnings to become one of the most influential figures in modern technology. Join us as we unravel the tale of a true icon who dared to think differently, from his early years, rise to success, challenges in his life, and at the end we will give five key lessons we can learn from him. This is the story of Steve Jobs. Stephen Paul Jobs was born on February 24, 1955, in San Francisco, California. His biological parents, Joanne Schiebel and Abdul Fattah Jandali, were both students at the University of Wisconsin. However, due to societal pressures at the time, they made the difficult decision to give him up for adoption. Paul and Clara Jobs, a middle-class couple from Mountain View, California, became Steve's adoptive parents. They provided him with a loving and supportive home. Growing up, Steve developed a close bond with his father, Paul, who shared his love for mechanics and electronics. This early exposure to tinkering with gadgets and exploring how things worked laid the foundation for his future endeavors. Attending Homestead High School in Cupertino, California, Jobs demonstrated exceptional intellect and curiosity. He was a bright student who found his passion for technology flourishing. While attending high school, Jobs met his future Apple co-founder, Steve Wozniak. Together, they would embark on a journey that would change the world. During his high school years, Jobs attended after-school lectures at the Hewlett-Packard Company, where he met some of the pioneering engineers of that era. These encounters fueled his fascination with electronics and inspired him to explore the possibilities of technology. After graduating from high school in 1972, Jobs enrolled at Reed College in Portland, Oregon. However, he dropped out after just six months due to the financial burden on his adoptive parents and his dissatisfaction with formal education. Despite leaving college, Jobs continued attending classes that interested him, even sleeping on friends' dorm room floors and returning Coke bottles for food money. In 1974, Jobs returned to California and took a job as a technician at Atari, a renowned gaming company. This experience allowed him to gain valuable insight into the world of computer design and engineering, further fueling his ambitions. Jobs' spiritual journey to India in 1974 was a pivotal moment in his life. Seeking enlightenment, he explored Eastern philosophies and practiced meditation. This introspective period had a profound impact on Jobs, shaping his philosophy of simplicity and mindfulness in design and product development. With his early years marked by a blend of curiosity, self-discovery, and hands-on experiences, Steve Jobs possessed a unique combination of technical know-how, entrepreneurial spirit, and an innate desire to create something remarkable. These formative years laid the groundwork for his later endeavors and set the stage for his meteoric rise in the world of technology. After dropping out of college, Steve Jobs returned to California and began attending meetings of the Homebrew Computer Club, a group of computer enthusiasts who shared their knowledge and ideas. It was at one of these meetings in 1976 that Jobs met Steve Wozniak, a brilliant engineer with a passion for electronics. The two quickly bonded over their shared love for technology and embarked on a journey that would change the face of computing forever. In the same year, Jobs and Wozniak co-founded Apple Computer Incorporated, in Jobs' parents' garage. Their goal was to create user-friendly computers that would democratize technology and make it accessible to ordinary people. Their first product, the Apple I, was a rudimentary circuit board that required users to assemble their own peripherals such as keyboards and monitors. Despite its limited capabilities, the Apple I attracted attention within the tech community. With the success of the Apple I, Jobs and Wozniak realized they had tapped into a market hungry for personal computers. They continued to innovate and released the Apple II in 1977. The Apple II was the first mass-produced, fully assembled personal computer that featured color graphics and a user-friendly interface. It became an instant success, propelling Apple into the mainstream and solidifying Jobs' reputation as a visionary. Jobs' marketing genius played a significant role in Apple's success. He understood the importance of creating a brand and captivating the public's imagination. In 1984, Apple launched the Macintosh, 
a breakthrough computer with a graphical user interface and a mouse. The iconic 1984 Super Bowl commercial, directed by Ridley Scott, introduced the Macintosh to the world and showcased Apple's rebellious and innovative spirit. However, internal conflicts and power struggles within the company led to Jobs' departure from Apple in 1985. Undeterred by this setback, he went on to found Next Incorporated, a computer company focused on building high-performance workstations for the education and business sectors. Next's advanced technology and sleek design garnered attention, but it faced challenges in the highly competitive market. In 1986, Jobs purchased Pixar Animation Studios, a struggling division of Lucasfilm. Under his leadership, Pixar evolved from a hardware company into a groundbreaking animation studio. The release of Toy Story in 1995 marked the first-ever feature-length computer-animated film and became a massive success. Pixar went on to produce a string of critically acclaimed and commercially successful movies, solidifying Jobs' position as a visionary leader in both technology and entertainment. In a surprising turn of events, Apple acquired Next in 1997, bringing Steve Jobs back to the company he co-founded. Initially serving as an advisor, Jobs soon took over as interim CEO. His influence was immediately felt, and he spearheaded a series of groundbreaking products that transformed Apple's fortunes. The iMac, released in 1998, revitalized the company and set the stage for a series of revolutionary innovations that followed. With the introduction of iconic products like the iPod, iPhone, and iPad, Jobs reshaped entire industries and revolutionized the way people interacted with technology. His emphasis on seamless integration, minimalist design, and intuitive user experiences elevated Apple's products to a league of their own. The App Store, launched in 2008, further expanded the ecosystem and solidified Apple's dominance in the mobile market. Steve Jobs' unparalleled ability to foresee consumer needs, combined with his unwavering commitment to innovation and design, propelled Apple to become one of the most valuable and influential companies in the world. His remarkable journey from a college dropout to the visionary leader of a tech giant remains an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and creatives worldwide. One significant controversy that plagued Jobs early in his career was his denial of paternity to his daughter, Lisa Brennan Jobs. Initially, Jobs disputed his paternity and refused to provide financial support, leading to a strained relationship with Lisa and her mother. However, Jobs eventually acknowledged his daughter and formed a closer bond with her later in life. This episode highlighted the complexities of Jobs' personal life and raised questions about his character. Jobs' leadership style and uncompromising pursuit of perfection also led to clashes within Apple. His relentless pursuit of excellence sometimes strained relationships with colleagues and employees. He was known for his demanding expectations and had a reputation for being a difficult person to work with. The intense pressure and high standards set by Jobs created a challenging work environment at times. In 1985, Jobs was forced out of Apple, the company he co-founded, due to internal power struggles. This marked a significant setback in his career and caused him to question his own capabilities. However, rather than giving up, Jobs used this setback as an opportunity for personal growth and embarked on new ventures, such as founding Next Incorporated and acquiring Pixar Animation Studios. The launch of the next computer faced challenges in the market due to its high price point and limited customer base. Despite its innovative technology and sleek design, Next struggled to gain widespread adoption, placing Jobs in a difficult position. However, the lessons learned from Next's challenges would later contribute to Jobs' resurgence at Apple. Upon his return to Apple in 1997, Jobs faced the daunting task of revitalizing a company on the verge of financial collapse. Apple's market share had dwindled, and its product lineup lacked innovation. Through strategic decisions, such as streamlining the product range and focusing on user-friendly design, Jobs successfully turned the company around. In 2003, Steve Jobs was diagnosed with a rare form of pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, which later became known as islet cell neuroendocrine carcinoma. Despite the severity of his illness, Jobs initially resisted conventional medical treatments, opting instead for alternative therapies. However, as his health declined, he eventually underwent surgery in 2004 to remove the tumor. In subsequent years, Jobs faced ongoing health challenges and took multiple medical leaves of absence from his role as CEO of Apple. The public's concern grew as rumors and speculations about his condition circulated. 
Despite his illness, Jobs continued to demonstrate remarkable resilience, leading Apple through a period of unparalleled growth and innovation. However, in August 2011, he announced his resignation as CEO, stating that he could no longer fulfill his duties due to his declining health. On October 5, 2011, Steve Jobs passed away at the age of 56, leaving behind a profound legacy as one of the greatest visionaries in the tech industry. His battle with illness serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the indomitable spirit with which he faced adversity until the end. Steve Jobs' life and career offer valuable lessons and insights for aspiring entrepreneurs, innovators, and individuals striving for success. Here are five key takeaways that can be drawn from his remarkable journey. 1. Unwavering vision and passion. Steve Jobs demonstrated the power of having a clear vision and unwavering passion for his work. He had a deep belief in the potential of technology to transform lives, and his relentless pursuit of excellence was driven by his passion. Jobs' ability to stay focused on his vision, even in the face of challenges and setbacks, serves as a reminder that passion and conviction are essential ingredients for success. 2. Embrace failure as a stepping stone. Throughout his career, Jobs encountered numerous failures and setbacks. From being ousted from Apple to the challenges faced by Next Incorporated, he experienced his fair share of disappointments. However, he never let failure deter him. Jobs saw failure as an opportunity for growth and learning, allowing it to propel him forward rather than holding him back. His resilience in the face of adversity teaches us to embrace failure as a stepping stone to success. 3. User-centric design and innovation. Jobs' emphasis on user experience and design revolutionized the tech industry. He believed in creating products that were not only technologically advanced but also intuitive and aesthetically pleasing. By putting the user at the center of his design philosophy, he transformed Apple into a company renowned for its user-friendly devices and groundbreaking innovations. Jobs' commitment to user-centric design underscores the importance of understanding and meeting the needs of your audience. 4. Embrace simplicity and focus. Jobs was a proponent of simplicity and minimalism in product design and strategy. He believed in eliminating clutter and focusing on the essential elements that truly mattered. This approach allowed Apple to deliver streamlined and intuitive experiences to its customers. Jobs' emphasis on simplicity teaches us the value of clarity and focus, enabling us to cut through complexity and deliver impactful solutions. 5. Trusting intuition and taking risks. Steve Jobs was known for his willingness to trust his instincts and take bold risks. Whether it was the introduction of the iPod, iPhone, or iPad, Jobs had the courage to challenge conventional wisdom and disrupt established markets. He believed in his vision and was unafraid to push boundaries and take calculated risks. Jobs' example encourages us to trust our intuition, think differently, and embrace calculated risks to drive innovation and achieve success. These five key success takeaways from Steve Jobs' life and career offer valuable insights into the mindset and strategies that propelled him to become one of the most influential figures in the tech industry. Steve Jobs' life and legacy exemplify the power of innovation, resilience, and unwavering determination. Despite facing numerous challenges and controversies, he consistently pushed the boundaries and revolutionized multiple industries. His commitment to user-centric design, simplicity, and calculated risks set him apart as a true tech icon. Jobs' journey teaches us to embrace failure, trust our instincts, and pursue our passions relentlessly. His legacy serves as a timeless inspiration to dream big, think differently, and leave a lasting impact on the world.